I wanted to talk you through one of the harder ones from chapter 10. Uh, I think it's mislabeled on this document as tap 2, but I think it was actually tap 3. So this problem is much like the algebraic problem on, uh, in, on the homework and in the textbook, only I changed the situation a bit and, and the numbers a bit. Uh, so, so we're asked to um, answer the question, how much will the equilibrium number of rental motorboats exceed the socially optimal number? So uh, we, we have to solve first for the equilibrium or, or, or first for the socially optimal number and then and then for the other and then compare. So let's let's do the market equilibrium uh, outcome. And the equilibrium condition for, for market outcome uh, is that quantity supplied is equal to quantity demanded. And, and equivalently you could solve that by saying marginal private cost equals marginal private benefit. Uh, that's another way to look at it, perfectly equivalent. Uh, anyway, what this enables us to do is is to say, oh, okay, the, the quantity supplied, quantity demand are equal. Those are going to be the same quantity. We know the price is going to be the same, so we can we can set 400 minus 0.1Q, just Q now is whatever that equilibrium quantity. We know quantity supplied and quantity demanded are going to be the same. We can set that equal to our marginal private cost function, our supply curve, uh, 20 plus 0 0.05 Q. Now, you know, it's time to brush up your algebra skills if, if you haven't already. And um, th this now is just algebra. So we can add 0.1 Q to both sides and we can subtract 20 uh, from both sides and we're left with 0 0.15 Q is equal to 380. Q is equal to 380 divided by 0 0.15. Most of us will need a calculator for this. Um, quantity then is 2,533.33. Now you might ask, oh, okay, how could you have 0 0.33 of a boat rental? And um, of course we can't divide up boats, but if you just think of that number as an average, you know, two weeks are going to rent uh, 2,533, and then the third week they're going to rent 2,534, and then, you know, problem solved. Um, haven't really left myself enough space to do the, uh, do the social optimal on this page, so, so let's make a new page. Just hang on to that number, uh, 2533.33. All right, let's find the social optimum, social best, whatever you want to call it, economically efficient, a lot of names for the same thing. Social optimum we occurs where marginal social costs are equal to marginal social values. Well, there's no demand side externalities, so uh, this function is going to give us our marginal social value uh, function, but, but the marginal social cost requires us to remember that marginal social cost is equal to marginal private cost plus the marginal external cost. And we're given that the marginal external cost is 20, so we can just say, oh, that marginal private cost was 20 plus 0 0.05 QS. Um, now we're going to add 20 to that, and of course when we consolidate, that's going to be 40 plus... 0.05 QS. And then we know again that this quantity supply, quantity demand are going to be the same at, at this optimum. We're, we're going to just um, uh, solve for this optimum quantity where the marginal social costs and marginal social value intersect. That's going to be where 400 minus 0.1 Q equals 40 plus 0 0.05 Q, and that gets us to, again, 0 0.15 Q equals now not 380, but rather 360, and then Q star, we'll call it, remember it was that social optimum, we use, use that notation, um, 360 divided by 0 0.15 is 2,400. So when we um, 
I'm just going to do it in this corner. Um, mark it Q minus soci socially best. Q, I guess I could have just used Q star for that. It's going to equal uh, 2,5533.33 minus 2,400. That's, that's going to equal 133.33. And, and that, that's our answer. Um, all right. Now, one thing to do in, in practice is, is to find, uh, is to graph this. Uh, that would be good, good practice for the exam. And then figure out the dead weight loss and, and point out where that dead weight loss triangle is going to be. Um, I guess I'll do that in one more one more screenshot. All right, here I've graphed what we know. Let me just get an arrow. We know that the supply curve is a marginal private cost curve at y-intercept of 20. Um, what I didn't put down is that this... Um, Marginal social cost curve is everywhere twenty dollars higher because of the um, external cost that's constant at twenty. Uh, we know we have um, this demand curve is is also the pr marginal private value function, marginal social value function. Um, there's no positive externality. So there we have it. Now now the question is what's um, what, what's the dead weight loss? Well. The dead weight loss in the case of a negative externality occurs because there's too much uh, output in this market. Every one of these boats rented past 2400 costs society more than it benefits that anybody in society. And if we add up the excess of costs over benefits over this excessive quantity, we end up with uh, the area of this triangle. And notice that... Um, Let's shade that in as best I can with a sort of clunky stylus. Uh, dead weight loss. It's going to be uh, one half times base times height. I'm going to. I'm just going to call the base that twenty dollar vertical distance. So one half times twenty times one hundred and thirty three point three three, and that's one thousand three hundred. Thirty-three point three three dollars per day. The units of, of surplus uh, of, as we as we assess efficiency are, are dollars per the time period. The boat units cancel out. We're multiplying price times quantity units, dollars per boat times boats per day. We're left with dollars per day. Made with DoodleCast Pro.